A journalist in London was repeatedly stabbed outside his home this week. The victim is a news anchor for a UK-based Iranian TV channel. The channel had reportedly ex or reported rather extensively on anti-government protests in Iran, and it has been the target of threats in the past. CBC's Dominic Philaitis has the latest. Huria Zarati is a host for Iran International, an Iranian TV news channel which is based here in London. He was reportedly attacked by a group of men as he left his home yesterday. Now, the police here have since confirmed that officers were called to the address in Wimbledon, southwest London, just before 3 p.m., and that on arriving, they found a man in his 30s who'd sustained a leg injury. Now, it's not believed to be life-threatening. Zarati is in hospital recovering. His condition is said to be stable, but this was a, a nasty attack nonetheless. And due to Zarati's background, his work as a journalist, and who he worked for, the attack has attracted attention at the very highest levels. Indeed, we've heard from the senior MP, Alicia Kearns, the chairwoman of the influential Foreign Affairs Select Committee, who described the attack as deeply upsetting. Iran International was established back in 2017. Although it broadcasts from London, it's aimed at Iranian viewers, and it appears to be pretty successful. Indeed, according to independent surveys, it's the most widely watched news channel in Iran. It is known to be critical of the regime there. In 2022, it reported extensively on anti-government protests in the country, which led to accusations from the government in Tehran that the station was inciting riots, and the government even went on to declare it a terrorist organization. And as one of the faces of Iran International, Zarati was also critical of the regime. Why exactly he was attacked is not yet known. Police say they're keeping an open mind. Counter-terrorism officers, though, are now leading the investigation. That, police say, is not only because Zarati worked for a Persian-language media organization based here, but because a number of the channel's journalists here have been threatened in the past. And in the wake of this latest incident, police have now increased security at several addresses linked to the channel and its staff as a precaution. Dominic Velaitis, CBC News, London.